Hey guys, Gus Mitchell here. I was scrolling through Facebook and I uh, came across a really good post on the Sideliner Facebook page. Um, the guy was asking questions about bee business and growing and selling nukes. So I wanted to talk to you about that a little bit. Now, uh, I'm not a large operation. I am growing still. Um, been selling nukes for a few years now. And this is what I do and what works for me at this point uh, in my growth. So this fella was asking, what is the best way to sell five to 10 nukes and a few queens in the summer? So uh, for me, my best advice is to link up with your local bee club or clubs, uh, as many as you are comfortable driving around and visiting. Uh, these I've found are the best avenue for selling nukes. Um, generally, uh, you can do an announcement in the fall or in the winter, uh, and you'll have the ability to network with these people and, and have a notebook for a list and start taking a list. I like to start my list uh, in December or January. Um, how do I do a list? I take the person's name, uh, number, and whatever other information, how many they want, etc. Uh, and I determine how many that I will book by say how many colonies you have. If you have 300 colonies, uh, the way I was taught by my mentor, Mr. Hodum, uh, you really don't want to book over half of what your colony count is. That's not to say you won't sell more than half, but you don't want to commit more than half of what your resources are. Uh, things go wrong. This is agriculture, guys, and uh, we are uh, subject to the weather and, and all sorts of things, you know? So uh, if you run 300 colonies, you, you know, you probably shouldn't book more than uh, 150 nukes. So I will have that list and I will have it set at 150 nukes. And once I get to that point, I start a second list that I'll call um, a wait list or a will call list. I let the people know that are getting on that list that uh, I'm not guaranteeing them a nuke, but, uh, and we're not having a commitment, but that if I have extras or if someone cancels, that I will provide them or I will call them in the order that I take the list. Um, now, my nuke sales list, I generally go by uh, the order that they get on the list. Uh, occasionally, I may make, um, adjustments due to the customer asking uh, and it's easy to do if you keep a notebook um, you know they may say hey i can't take my bees until the end of june so okay i'll work it and move them around and maybe somebody's wanting them urgently and they'll get moved up um, i don't have a real system for that it's just i try to be fair i try to go by the order in which the that they approach me and get on my list so as far as queens, I never make a list for queens. Um, I'm still filling out that process. Um, I'm growing and I'm selling more queens, more and more queens, and I'm getting a process down, but I don't have it where I want it to be. Uh, nearly all, well, actually all of my early queens go to either my own operation or to my nuke sales. So I don't sell spring queens. So that limits me as well. There's a lot less people that want queens in the summer. So I just post them up as I have them. Or, you know, if somebody's like, hey, keep me in mind when you have them, I'll give them a call. Um, and that's how I, I get rid of queens. I'm not selling more than 100 um, right now. So hopefully I'll get to the point where I can sell a few hundred queens, maybe, you know, three, 500 queens in a year. But, um, then I'll need a little bit better. Probably I'll take orders at that point, but at this stage, uh, it's just kind of as I have them, I post them and I don't have a problem selling them. So uh, that's my advice there. Um, to ask about low volume sales on Facebook. Um, I think the B clubs are the best bet. Uh, you'll probably have more demand than you can meet. I know I do. Um, if that's not the case, Facebook is great. I do post nukes for sale on Facebook sometimes, and 
um, they usually get snatched up pretty quick. So uh, Facebook's great for low volume sales, uh, guys that don't really want to commit money to advertising, it's free, so it's great in that regard. Um, they do sometimes take down your, your sales ads on um, Facebook for bees if they get reported as livestock or animals because you cannot sell animals on Facebook. So uh, just be, be cautious how you word things um, and you'll probably be fine because I'm sure you've seen a lot of uh, nuke sale ads on Facebook. Deposits. Ooh, um, I have not figured out deposits. I have taken deposits and not taken deposits and I back and forth and yo-yo with this. Um, my original thoughts have been that when I've taken deposits, I feel like the customer um, is more demanding. Um, they feel you owe them something, which you do, but um, they are a lot more demanding on time timelines and it's hard to do that uh, for me I generally give about two weeks notice um, I know some guys they, they have the ability to um, work it on the calendar months in advance I just don't feel comfortable doing that because um, I'm very hands-on with my nukes they get inspected a few times they always get inspected before I sell them and I need time to do that um, I also like to have them grown out to the stage that they need transferred. Uh, that's something that I feel like I need to change and work on. People want to see those boxes full of bees, but that's not good for the beekeeper because uh, a lot of these are newbies and they don't know and um, they end up in a swarming situation. So I feel like it's best to, to leave them with a little bit of room to grow uh, as long as they have that momentum as a a cohesive colony and are growing uh, you're good to go but most people they want them jam-packed full of bees um, so that's important uh, for me to have them looking pretty good so the customers will be satisfied and I, I just need time for that myself so I haven't been taking deposits last year uh, wasn't so bad this year was terrible uh, I wish I had taken deposits. I had so many people back out. It was a real pain. Um, I think next year I'm going to try it again and take deposits. So this is just something you're going to have to fill out for yourself. Um, as far as the amount of the deposit, uh, it's nothing major. It'd probably be something like uh, 50 to $75. Um, that's my thoughts. So um, back to the size of the nuke, um, how big they are, how full they are. Uh, a problem that I have never had until this year, I did have one problem uh, where I pull nukes from different yards. Sometimes they are at different strength levels. Um, some will be on a little bit more of a flow and they maybe have some burr home and others they'll be good strong nukes that I grade as, as ready to go. I uh, think it's important not to ever mix these. Uh, you want the same strength nukes going to the customer. Um, I only had one complaint this year and it was from a customer that felt like he had been cheated in some way because one nuke uh, was much stronger than the other and it was more a bonus that the one was as strong as it was. Uh, all of them had been graded to sell and were great shape. Like I said, that's the only complaint that I had, had gotten really. And um, I, I think it's just a visual thing. You look at one, it's slammed full of bees. It's probably ready to, to swarm soon if you, if you don't give them some room. And then you see one that's full of bees and it looks good, but uh, it's not bursting at the seams like that one. And you feel like there's probably something wrong here. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, effective ways to advertise, uh, like I was talking about, your club is your best bet. Facebook's great because it's cheap. Uh, like you were talking, this is low volume sales and you really don't want to waste money on advertising. Uh, you're most likely not going to be able to meet the demand already. So uh, you shouldn't have to pay for advertising. Ways to grow for the following year. If you're going to sell nukes, you're going to sell bees, then you have to have a plan uh, for comb. You're either going to have to buy combs or make them. 
what I do is I use resource hives, which are four over four. Uh, they're four frame hives. I like them a lot. I run them throughout the season. I have a couple in each yard and I just keep foundation on them. Uh, I'll pull the honey frames as I go, consolidate them into a deep uh, that'll be on another production hive. So as I'm out there, I'll pull those frames. I'll put them uh, above the excluder uh, in a deep on a production colony and I'll put foundations back in. You know, you may keep the foundations in that box just to have them there and be convenient. Um, this works pretty well for me. I need to do more of this because I never have enough combs. Um, I wish, I always wish I had more combs and sometimes I end up having to use uh, my extracting supers, my mediums, uh, to let the bees grow into. But um, combs are, are very important, so you need to have a management strategy for acquiring or making combs because you're going to be getting rid of these in your nukes. Uh, I did see this guy mentioned, uh, I think he was in Ohio, so he had uh, uh, more certifications than were required here, but a health certificate's always a great idea, guys. Um, you want to be, have your bees certified. Uh, you want that confidence that you can show the customers and they can see that and they feel good about moving your bees into their apiary and you know, you're all above board uh, doing the right thing with the law and all that. So that's just some thoughts that I had on uh, growing your bee business and selling nukes. I hope that somebody got something out of it. Um, if you have any suggestions for me on how I can do what I do better, then I'm, I'm open ears. Um, good luck. Uh, I wish you the best. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.